Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Star from Tarot Tarot to do another read for y'all. And once again, it's a die read. Look at this. All of these die reads. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good Lord, y'all. <laughs> All right, so once again another die read for Aries. So we've exhausted all the other reads. I mean, I've done the 2022, the January, let's snoop on your person, the next six months, February, Valentine's. <laughs> so we're going to make one up. <laughs> we're just going to make it up. Um, so I, I thought, why don't we do something called, by the way, I look like garbage because I am, I'm getting, I'm in the middle of getting a cold or having a cold right now. I've been sneezing and coughing and uh, I look and feel like garbage. It's, it is what it is. I debated whether or not to even do this read tonight. And I thought, well, maybe I'm just going to do this one and then I'm going to go to bed. But, uh, so I thought about it. I was like, let's do one called what's the sitch? What's the situation? What is the situation? Okay. So let's use i don't know let's use the light seers deck i guess let's do this light seers deck we're just gonna make it up as we go so what is the situation with you and the person you came here to hear about what is the situation okay is it you're standing your ground or you're being defensive or they're being defensive or you're both being defensive. Is it something about standing your ground? Um, confidence. Okay. Defending yourself. Wow. Okay. My eyes are water. Oh my God. I'm just like a, <laughs> I'm a sneezy, itchy mess. <laughs> oh my God. Let me see. All right, so who is this person? It could be a Cancer or somebody with Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in Cancer. Somebody who is able to control, keep things under control. When I'm just going to pretend that I don't see that cat on top of the sink. I'm just going to pretend. Ah. <sighs> Good duck. All right, so this person's are they? They're somebody who's able to like control things when they're trying to run off track. Um, could be a Gemini. Um, get the Two of Cups. Could be a cusp person, um, and a Gemini beginning a Cancer. <sighs> um, so. What, what is the current state of this situation? It's taking too long. It's dragging on. Taking forever to get somewhere. It's taking forever to get somewhere. <laughs> Are they non-committal? Is that it? Or you feel like they're non-committal? They're just t they're slow to invest. Um. So, what are they up to right now? Okay, they are either really confused or they're under the influence. They're all in their feelings or they're under the influence of something. Um, what do they want from you? Either they want you to be a prisoner of your own thoughts or... Let me get clarification on What do they want? That's what I was thinking when I went to put the card down, but I was like, all right, let's just clarify. They want you to get out of your head and celebrate and have fun. They want to have fun with you. They want you to be more fun because <laughs> they think that you're too in your head and you're like letting your thoughts, you're just running, you know, your thoughts are running away with you. Um, what are they going to do? be cautious and not they're going to act distrustful like they don't trust you what are, wait so why are they acting like they don't trust you that makes no sense
Do they feel like you're weighing... Oh, okay. Do they feel like you're weighing your options um, of having... Hmm. That's interesting. So that you're weighing your options between them and having it all? What? What? So that they feel like that you, if you are with them, that you're not going to be happy? Do they have like a shitty self-confidence? Um... They could have um, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or Libra tendencies. They could be somebody who um, can't make a decision themselves, have a hard time making a decision. So, all right, I want to throw a kipper on this because I just want to get some clarification. Can Kipper tell us anything about this situation? What do we want to know about this? What, what do we need to know about this situation? Unexpected money? Gloomy thoughts? What? Wait. I almost got this fight. <laughs> This thought ran through my mind of they are worried that if you have some certain amount, certain money come your way, that you won't want them, that you won't need them, um, that you'll just let them go. Like if you have, I don't know if you're expecting money from something. Well, actually it's January <laughs> uh, for a lot of people um, tax refund time is gonna be coming so are they worried that like if you get some big refund back that you'll dump them <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that makes no sense at all but look on the bottom it says win lots <laughs> I don't know I mean you'll know if this applies to your situation but so what is the advice from the universe <laughs> for you on this situation? Okay, so fight for what you want. Work for what you want. Fight for what you want and work for what you want. And let the tower fall if it needs to. Wow. Okay. So you could be dealing with somebody who's very materialistic. They could be very, very materialistic. So maybe you're to focus on your blessings. I feel like some of you have intuitive abilities too. Because as I'm looking at the card, um, it shows the moon in the background. And a lot of times moon is like intuition, your ability to see into the um, the energy beyond. All right, so I don't know. What about this situation? What else about this situation do we want to know? Um, is there anything that they don't want us to know? What do they not want us to know? <laughs> What? That makes no sense. <laughs> Sometimes this person, I think, feels like a, um, like they don't belong here, like they're not from here. I know that sounds weird. I'm just, I'm just saying. Because I got the star card. Okay, and then I got the sun card. And if you look at what they both depict, it almost depicts like 
a connection to the outside universe. <laughs> and then there's the sun card. So I think sometimes they almost feel as if they're not from here. Or they like they don't belong here. If there's a way you can somehow sneak that into the conversation. <laughs> Um, so what else? What else? What else? What? Okay, so what can we expect in the future in this situation? What can we expect um, to happen between the two of you? Okay, new start for stability. Wow, and love. Okay, I like that. And more arguing. So it's so you start you start a firm footing start you know firm ground they act like they really do want commitment they really want something solid and serious and loving and then they argue with you again more arguing because they like to be in the spotlight they like a lot of attention hmm. hopefully they're not liking attention from everybody and lots of people But they're materialistic, so I don't know. I always feel like you have um, a person with Leo tendencies, too. Like they have Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or heavy fifth house emphasis, or Sun on the Ascendant, or so. I don't know. All right, so let's close this off with six cards down as destiny. Who are we reading for next? Uh, Virgo. Okay. And they could have some moon rising or Venus and Virgo. I don't know. So, six cards, Donna's is destiny. I don't know if this has provided any insight at all, but if it has, let me know. And I'm wondering if the next die roll is going to be Aries. Because, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. All right, so tomorrow is Saturday. I'm going to try to do some reads. We'll see. I don't know. I'm going to try to sleep in, too, because I'm tired as crap. I had somebody promise to do something and I knew as soon as they opened their mouth they weren't actually going to do it. I knew they were just BSing me. So I, I don't have to worry about them showing up. I'm going to get somebody else to do the, the thing I need done. Alright, so stop being so stubborn. Ask them out. Eat healthier. They are secretly thinking marriage. Really? Are they? Because they seem kind of like an argumentative trick one. Um, and they want to lock you down. All right. Cook them a special meal. <laughs> I guess make it healthy. Um, all right. Well, this is what it's saying. <laughs> I don't know. What, I, why they want to argue and fight so much. All right. Aries, Sun, Rising, Venus. This is Donna from Terra Terra. Thank you so much. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next read. All right. Bye.